How's it going guys? My name is Lon Barrel and today we're going to be doing another episode of Vacation Please. This will be episode 22. Now before we just begin this, I want to know if you guys would like to see a Road to Global Elite type thing. Now the reason why I'm asking you guys is because as you can clearly see this is not my account and my personal account is obviously unranked because I haven't played matchmaking in so long. So I really want to ask you guys, would you guys want to see a Road to Global Elite where I do my placement matches and then obviously go on you know to try get to global elite or maybe if i get another account with a silver one rank and then try to go from silver one to global elite that way uh i'm not sure which one i'm gonna pick yet that's all gonna be on you guys if you guys even want to see this series um because frankly i'd rather just play esca uh, and stuff like that and then try to kind of incorporate it into my channels like you know pugs like like i have been doing lately but of course be more consistent with it so that's something for you guys to decide just let me know in the comment section below uh but for now let's get into the case so once again we're greeted by our favorite map on dust 2 uh puffin you are lagging like crazy uh, it seems like everybody's lagging like crazy i think it's like a go tv lag glitch not really sure what that kind of smoke was but let's take a look at the suspect he is 5 and 11, 0 assists, and 16 points. Uh, they are losing 9 2, and he has about a 20% headshot. Not really sure what the fuck is going on here. Uh, he could be trolling and griefing, but as of right now, I'm not really sure what Taurus is doing. He is like, he seems to be be hopping all over the place. Not a surprise there, the CTs destroy the absolute shit out of the T's. These two decided to just hang around outside of tunnels and do nothing. And that play got him absolutely nowhere. Ah, uh, he's, he's gonna block his teammates in. Alright, so he's just gonna stand there and wait until his teammates get sprayed down. He's gonna block Natillus. And he's gonna block Puffin as well. So I'd say this is a big evidence of griefing thank you puffin for doing something to the suspect so it's a pretty clear case that the suspect basically does not want anything to do with this game uh he just wants to fuck around and do whatever it looks like him and taurus are queued together because it's the second time we see both of them sit outside of these tunnels for absolutely no clear understanding and i, I have no idea what the hell this play is going to bring them he did check the angle, got sprayed down because he had no armor, and they actually ended up winning their f third round of the match. So now they change sides. I'm not really sure what I'm going to see here because the suspect is he's very useless in this game. It looks like him and Taurus are just butt buddies for life. And uh, obviously, it's no surprise, the T's already got positioning of B. Now they're pressing the CTs, and they got an easy round. It's just a complete shit show of the... Um, enemy and you can see Taurus is griefing. I wish you can report Taurus as well. I mean if I could just click on his name I would click report for griefing but um, yeah it looks like this is not a great game for the CTs because they have two absolutely retarded griefers on the team and that's why I'm doing this case so I can put this griefer to rest. Uh, this is absolutely ridiculous. I hate people that do this. Uh, but Puffin, he's part of the problem as well because he probably gave up as well. He doesn't want anything to do with this, but just to throw the game until the game is over. So insufficient evidence about aim assistance, insufficient evidence for vision assistance, and obviously other external assistance. I didn't see anything of that sort. Evident beyond a reasonable doubt for griefing. This guy, he's going to go away for 30 days. Hopefully, let's get him. So I decided one case is not enough. We're going to do another Overwatch case. Hopefully, this time we get a hacker, not a griefer, because I really want to crack down on some hackers. I want to see some spin and mod action. Judging by this guy, we're just going to see some B-hops. Too much for Zedlock. Anyways, so let's examine his stats. It's 7-1 for the terrorist. Complete opposite of what we just saw on the other match. But it looks like 28% headshots, 14-3. It's an absolute shit show. It looks like this guy is having a field day. I mean, easy kill right there because he knew he was there. Oh, but what was that? How was he tracing him through the walls? Let's take a look at that again. He then chased down Daisy. He's going to know he's obviously behind the corner. Pre-fires him. Gets an easy shot. Let's move on. They did a hurrah. They all held space. Did you guys see that? I urge you to try to this. In your own match. Next time you're playing CSGO, convince your entire team to hold space. And when the freeze time timer reaches zero, you're all going to jump up 
And you're gonna be looking like absolute pros. It's gonna be like a last hurrah type thing. Ooh, baby. So, I mean, there's one thing we can see that the suspect really sucks at aiming. He's getting pushed by Daisy. And uh, he obviously knows that he can hear that. He can pre-fire him. And those bullets did absolutely nothing to him for some reason. He he left with no scars. Daisy, you're a dead man before you even know it, bro. You gotta get out of there. Why are you trying to shoot him in the head through the walls, suspect? Are you actually that bad? Man, I mean, if you're gonna hack, you might as well get better at the game so you don't actually look like a fucking moron. Eclipse, bro. You're a god. Did I ever tell you that you're a god? I mean, your whole team must be telling you that you're a god. What you just did, that was... That was absolutely unbelievable. But I mean, credit where credit is due. This guy... This guy knows what he's doing. Look at him. Getting two kills, one through the smoke. Yeah, I mean, just an absolute shit show. 23 and 3. Five MVPs. The rest of his team is way behind. This guy... I don't know what can I say. I mean, this guy's a pro. Look at that. No utilities. How is he going to defend this bomb site all by himself with his entire team missing and dead somewhere? I just feel bad for the suspect. Cyclone, I'm sorry, bro, but you're dead, man. Did not see it coming. I'm not really sure what he was trying to do there. I mean... You gotta know what post-plant positions that the T's might hold. Oh, Bell. Oh, Bell. How I feel bad for you, buddy. You using an R8 against this guy? I mean, how can you do that? He's a pro. We keep seeing this time and time again. This guy attempts, like, some really shitty B-hops. Wow. Was that a shoulder check? I'm not really sure what the fuck that was. Wow, a little bit of team drama going on here. Eclipse takes out Toaster with a damn Negev. So now it's a 2v1. Daisy could easily do this. I mean, he doesn't have a lot of HP on himself, but it's not like the T's have a lot of HP either. But I mean, when you're playing against a hacker of this caliber, I mean, there's not much you can do. Like I said this before, if you're playing against a hacker, and it doesn't look like he's getting too many headshots, so he can't really be taking out, you know, three three or four players at a time if you rush him what you're supposed to do is as a team that's playing against a hacker do your best to team up try to take on the hacker with all of your force never split up i mean if you if you guys haven't seen already the suspect got so many one-on-one -on -one battles it's absolutely ridiculous uh the score shouldn't be 11-1 the problem is in the hacker if you take out the hacker there's no more problem so i mean we know he is wall hacking but the question is is he aim hacking this is something that we need to figure out before this case ends. But as of right now, I mean, judging by headshot percentage, it doesn't look like he has very obvious aim hacks. If so, one more chance for this guy to, uh, to show us some real aim hack proof. If he doesn't or he does, I'm not really sure uh, if that will be sufficient evidence. Anyways, judging by this spray, it looked like he had a little bit of a force. Yeah, I think this guy has aim hacks. Uh, he, he really sucks at aiming, so he just lets his aimbot do the work. He just kind of sprays and hopes for the best. And it probably just forces onto them after a couple of shots. But no, we do actually get to see one more round of a pistol round. He's going to use the Berettas. Uh, I'm expecting greatness, especially after they're running at him right now. There you go, guys. See, that's what I'm talking about. If you run down a hacker, I mean, they still lost, but that doesn't matter. He took out one player, and the rest of them were able to kill him. After which, you can obviously get good post plan positions and hold after his entire team comes in to retake. At that point, it should be a lot easier because you're not playing against a, a guy that, that knows where exactly you are at all times. So anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed my little tips of how to deal against a hacker. That was some things to avoid is to never be alone. If you can always trade, that will be the best option. Never commit to a fight if you know it's the hacker and never chase him down unless you have a buddy or at least a couple of buddies with you. Anyway, so aim assistance, I think we were able to conclude that this guy has aim, some sort of aim, aim assistance because he's really bad at aiming, but he seems to be getting those kind of nasty headshots which don't really seem plausible in a live match situation if you're using legit um systems anyways evident beyond reasonable doubt for aim assistance vision assistance it's it's not it's a no-brainer this guy was using some sort of wall hack um it's definitely not just radar hacks it's definitely wall hacking maybe like an esp or something i don't know what the fuck i'm talking about don't even ask me about hacks anyways other external assistance 
he was trying some really crummy b hop attempts but i didn't really see any of uh, anything that could have uh, raise a red flag for me, so I'm gonna do insufficient evidence for others general assistance But griefing is another one of those where it's like you don't know if he's actually griefing or not judging by what he did He was playing as a team. I mean he only killed his teammate once really uh, If there are other if there are other times he was killing teammates uh, I probably missed them, but I mean insufficient evidence for that either way So my name is Bill on barrel guys. I hope you guys are satisfied with this case uh, I did two cases because the other one was basically just not enough. So I'm not going to ramble on for too much. My name is Bill Umbrella. Thank you guys so much for watching. And remember, be water, my friends.